Research data management refers to how you handle, organise and structure your research data. All research data needs to be actively managed throughout the research life cycle so that high quality data is produced at the end for maximum reusability. Upon completion of your project, you should archive all data associated with your research in Western Sydney University's institutional repository called Research Direct. All datasets are assigned descriptive metadata and archived with a stable URL or DOI, a digital object identifier, for citation purposes. This permanent record of your research data improves transparency and reproducibility of your research, which is linked to higher citation rates and increased collaboration opportunities. It also makes your research project compliant with data preservation best practices, Western Sydney University policy, grant funding conditions, and perhaps your journal publishing requirements. If you already have a research data management plan, you can access this plan by navigating from the library's homepage and selecting Create a data record from this plan. All the previously recorded information will populate many of the fields to convert your plan into an archived record. If you did not create a research data management plan, select Submit a research data set from the Research Direct menu and complete the fields using the left-hand side menu. You can navigate through the screens either by clicking Next at the bottom of the page or by selecting from the menu. This form should take about 10 to 20 minutes to complete. At any time, you can save the record and return to it later. If you encounter any problems with completing the form at any point, you can contact the library for assistance. Save and close the record and go to the Western Now portal to access the Support for Research Data Management Planning form. Access either the Student or Staff portal as appropriate and search for Support for Research Data Management. Fill in as much detail as you have and submit. Returning to the form, all mandatory fields are marked with an asterisk. Further information is provided by clicking on the small question marks where available. Starting with the Y menu, record the project name. This will be the title for the dataset, so it is recommended that it is unique to the dataset and not exactly the same as the publication title. At the very least, you can use the publication title with the word dataset at the end. Record the funding source next. If there are several sources, you can use the green plus button to add fields. Record the grant number or numbers as appropriate. Apply the same field of research and SEO codes that you used for your article. These are very useful for the end user who is searching for data to use in their future research. Now click Next to progress to the next screen. In the What screen, repeat the dataset title from the previous page. In the Description field, write a short description of the research project. You may be able to reuse text from your grant or ethics application to describe the project. Include some extra information about the nature of the data that was collected, including file types and a description of fields and file names if necessary. Select Dataset from the next drop-down field. For keywords, apply any words that a future researcher might use to search for your dataset and record the estimated size of the dataset. In the Who screen, select your name from the drop-down list and your email address and ORCID ID will populate. If your name and details do not appear correctly, please contact the library using the Western Now form previously mentioned. Include all WSU collaborators and your PhD supervisor if appropriate. Every researcher added here will appear as an author of the data in the eventual citation. If you collaborated with non-WSU researchers, you'll record these names in the next step when the data record is published. In the WHEN screen, select the retention period that is appropriate. Before you proceed, please save the record without closing. In the WHERE screen, you can record the location of the data. The two preferred options are URL and attachment. If your data set is less than one gigabyte, you can attach it to the record. If your data set is larger, the library will need to work with ITDS to create a permanent storage location on a WSU server. Please contact the library using the Western Now form if this is the case. 
enter the details of any software or equipment that you've used that may contribute to the understanding of the user. Finally, to submit the form, select Save and Close. Your dataset is now archived in the library's Research Direct repository. The final step in the data management process is to create a published record of your data that can be indexed in Research Data Australia. Find your data record and click the Create a Data Publication from this record button. All the information that you have entered in the previous process will be populated, including title, description and FOR codes. Navigate through the menu either on the left-hand side or by using the Next button at the bottom of the page. In the Specify Coverage field, include the start and end dates for data collection. Record the location of where the data was collected. You can add several locations by using the green plus button. Click Next to continue. The Select Data screen is where you indicate how open the data will be. If your dataset contains sensitive information or there are privacy concerns relating to its use, you should select the box for Publish Metadata Only, No Data. This will keep the data private. If the dataset can be published openly, place a tick in the box or boxes next to the file names. This dataset will now be completely open to the public to view. Additionally, indicate open, restricted or conditional access to the data with the access conditions. If there are specific access conditions that are recorded on a URL, you can add this URL here. The supplement screen is where you can link the accompanying research article. Use the publication title and the DOI link to your article. Record any related websites that are relevant to your research. The license page records the copyright or Creative Commons license that applies to your research data. If you are unsure about which Creative Commons license to apply, particularly in the case of sensitive data, you can leave this blank and the university will retain the copyright upon publication. If you would like advice regarding Creative Commons licenses, the university's copyright officer can be contacted for more information. Check the Request a DOI checkbox for your dataset to be considered for a DOI. A library staff member will assess this upon publication and assign a DOI if it meets the criteria. Paste the dataset publication title into the next field. This will be the published name of the record. Enter all authors in the order that you would like them to appear. Include all email addresses and ORCID numbers if known, so that people can be contacted to discuss the research if required. You can rearrange the order using the buttons to the side. You can leave the publication date blank as this will be completed by library staff in the approval process. Finally, click Submit for publication. This record will now be approved by library staff and a DOI, if appropriate, or a permanent URL will be applied. Use the information provided to update your ORCID profile, your resume, grant applications, and to promote your data set on any professional networks or social media platforms. Your research data set is now an entirely separate published research output. It is discoverable in the Research Data Australia portal, where you can track access and usage for your metrics reporting.